Imagine if somewhere, you know, trillions of light years away from our world, there's another version of you watching this very video right now. Not as crazy as it might sound. The multiverse theory is having its time of the day, from Marvel's movies to Spider-Verses to the recent famous hit Everything Everywhere All at Once. But it's not just some wild sci-fi concept. Physicists have been talking about this theory for decades. Let's see what they say. Do parallel worlds exist? If they do, let's hope that this is the reality where you click that subscribe button before diving into the video. Now everything starts with the Big Bang. Before the Big Bang, the universe, with everything we know, was crammed into an unbelievably tiny, super-hot, and mega-dense point. Our universe is about to burst into existence. And then, boom! The most colossal event you can imagine happens. In an instant, this tiny point expands with indescribable speed. It's the beginning of everything – time, space, and all the galaxies that surround us. Then, like an extremely hot balloon, the universe started stretching out in all directions. Which sounds logical, but what's curious is that this inflationary epoch lasted for an incredibly brief time in less than a blink of an eye. It's like the universe hit the fast-forward button and then everything eventually slowing down over time. After this speedy phase, the universe kept growing, but at a more normal pace. This rapid expansion is called inflationary cosmology. It explains some big mysteries about our world. It tells us why it looks the same in all directions, why the background radiation is evenly spread, why galaxies are where they are, and so on. The details of how this cosmic inflation works are still a bit mysterious. But scientists are on it, and the theory itself is universally accepted. But it wasn't always this way. To scientists, this idea sounded like insane sci-fi at first. However, it explains so many things that the scientists just had no choice but pay attention to it. However, its initial weirdness was just the beginning. Now, according to this theory, inflation might not be a one-time thing. It could be happening repeatedly, maybe even endlessly. Picture the universe as a never-ending cycle, with each burst of inflation creating its own bubble universe. And the most important thing is that these bubble universes might not play by the same rules. Some could be totally weird, where the laws of physics are going crazy in ways we can't even fathom. Which means, there might be a whole constellation of bubble universes out there. However, we can't directly see these other bubbles. They exist beyond the edge of our spotlight. That's where the multiverse theory comes into play. People have been chatting about the idea of multiple universes for a long time, like way back in ancient Greece. Now, back in the 1990s, people got really interested in this idea, and this concept started popping up in books and movies. As a result, scientists began talking about it increasingly in scientific discussions and journal articles. And nowadays, many scientists and philosophers are into it. Now, the problem is, there's no solid proof or evidence that these other universes really exist. It's not a proved or confirmed theory. It's not even a theory at all, just a hypothesis, a bunch of interesting thoughts put together. Before we draw any conclusions, we need much more in the way of clues and evidence. And unfortunately, it's hard to find the evidence of parallel worlds when we can't live or look past our own. Which is why many scientists believe that it might not be real. But not everybody agrees with that. While critics say that we can't observe the multiverse and therefore can't test it, some physicists suggest a different approach. Instead of trying to find these parallel worlds, we could try to look at ours and its history. Around the 2010s, researchers took a closer look at data from a space gadget called the Wilkinson Microwave Anisotrophy Probe. Yes, that's a mouthful. They thought they found signs suggesting that our universe might have bumped into other universes in the past, like sort of a collision. But then scientists used an even fancier satellite, which had three times better resolution, looked at the data more thoroughly, and didn't find any strong proof of these universe collisions. Plus, there was no evidence that other universes were tugging on ours with their gravity. However, an interesting discovery happened in 2015. One scientist checked out radiation left over from the Big Bang. 
he claimed to see something super bright. 4,500 times brighter than expected. Well, at least based on the stuff, like protons and electrons, scientists think existed in the early universe. So he and some others assume that this might be our first evidence of our universe crashing into others. But let's assume that it does exist. The multiverse wouldn't be about human decisions creating alternate timelines. In quantum mechanics, it's not human decisions that split everything into parallel worlds, but the measurement of subatomic particles. So if we look at this theory scientifically, other worlds would be billions of light years away, and what's happening to them wouldn't have anything to do with our daily choices. So what would it look like? Well, Max Tegmark, for example, talks about four levels of universes and multiverses. Level 1 is the extension of our world. Our universe is a big place, and in an infinite universe, there would be infinite chunks like ours, each with its own story. Most of these chunks might look different from ours, but because there are so many, some might look just like ours, but they'd be really, really far away. Level 2 is a universe with different physical constants. This idea says that our universe is part of a much bigger space where bubbles form. Each bubble might have its own set of rules like different laws of physics. Level 3 is the many worlds interpretation of quantum mechanics. This one's a bit tricky. In the quantum world, things can be weird. Imagine rolling a dice. Each number that comes up might create a separate universe. So if you rolled a dice and got a 3, in another universe, it would be a 6, and so on. Yeah, my head's spinning. This idea suggests that every possible outcome in quantum events creates a whole new universe. And level 4 is the ultimate ensemble. This level gets super abstract. It says that everything, every possible universe or reality, can be described using math. Hmm, I wish now I hadn't fallen asleep in algebra. Imagine all the different math equations describing every conceivable way the universe could be. This level says that every math equation that can describe a universe actually exists, and they're all real in their own way. Stephen Hawking was a proponent of the Level 3 Many Worlds interpretation. It was one of his last theories before he passed away. He predicted that the universe is finite and far simpler than many current theories about the Big Bang say. According to Hawking, the universe is like a giant quantum system a sea of possibilities and probabilities. In this view, every outcome of the universe's history plays out in parallel existences, and we, as observers, play a crucial role. Our existence and what we observe, according to Hawking, actively shapes the universe we see. In simple words, the universe is a canvas and we're all painters. Sounds very cool and insane, but hey, many things in science were considered crazy before they turned out to be true. So, is there another copy of you somewhere watching this video and who just pressed the like button? Who knows? If there are infinite copies of us, scientists assume that we might be like identical twins, sharing the same origins and starting from one thing, but then developing into separate different people. And if these worlds exist, perhaps we can even visit them one day. There could be some connections between us, something that could allow for interdimensional travel. For example, wormholes. Well, whatever the truth may be, let's hope that one day we'll discover it. Until then, stay curious. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.